Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. To all new viewers, welcome to Acedo's kitchen. Today I am here to share with you a simple slow cooked roast beef and vegetable recipe. The ingredients for this dish are topside beef roast, potatoes, carrots, onions, rosemary, beef broth, garlic powder, vegetable stock powder, cornstarch, thyme, salt, and black pepper. I wash the beef, pat it dry with a paper towel, and season it with salt and black pepper. You can season this with more spices if preferred, but sometimes I like to keep it simple. Be generous with the salt and pepper, then rub it into the meat. This is the first time I am using moisture infused meat, so I hope it's not too soggy at the end. I heat a cast iron skillet and brown the beef. I keep turning the meat until all sides of the meat are browned. Then I transfer it into my slow cooker. I add the potatoes, carrots and onions around the meat and place the rosemary on top. I now make a mixture of beef broth, garlic powder, thyme and cornstarch. I also added vegetable stock powder into this mix, which I did not capture on camera. I mix this well and pour it over the meat and vegetables. I like the gravy simple and well seasoned, so it can balance out the flavors in the meal when served. This mixture will add some flavor to the meat and vegetables and thicken the gravy. If you want a thicker gravy, you can adjust the amount of cornstarch you use. I cook this for 6 to 7 hours. I set it on high heat for the first 2 hours, then on low for the rest of the time. I checked the meat at the 6 hour mark and it wasn't as soft as I wanted, so I left it on for another hour. You may have noticed that the gravy is runny. This is not the consistency I was hoping for. As I mentioned before, this is the first time I have roasted moisture infused meat. I didn't expect that this much fluids will come out of the meat, so I underestimated the amount of cornstarch needed. I served the roast beef and vegetables with the gravy and it was delicious. The gravy tasted so rich, so I put a generous amount of it on the meat which balanced the taste. The meat is now ready to serve. For those who like it more seasoned, you can always add extra salt and black pepper. Please comment, like and share this recipe. And for more of my simple recipes, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time I post a new recipe. This is all I have for you today. I hope to see you all in my next one. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.